These Ethiopians have no homes after rebels forced them to flee in the north. They are now stranded in the area of Dupti, in the Afar region. It is one of the hardest hit in the country's 15-month war against rebels of breakaway region, the Tigray People's Liberation Front, known as the TPLF. You can see it with your own eyes. We were evicted from our home and are eating biscuits. There are pregnant women among us. There are mothers who gave birth on the road. There isn't even a rug to sleep on here. The TPLF evicted us. They are living inside our homes. They are looting our belongings and burning the rest of our houses. Aisha Nur was cooking for her son when a shell hit their house. Nine-year-old Tahir was badly burnt. Luckily, his mother could bring him with his brother to a hospital here. But she had to leave her six other children behind. She doesn't know if she will ever see them again. This hospital is stretched far beyond its capacity. Many of the patients feel no one is paying attention. Afar's regional forces are poorly equipped and lack military backing. Militia fighter Ibrahim Abdallah was shot in the chest in the Kaneba district. It feels like, compared to what the TPLF brought, there should have been more support to defend our land and our homes. You can't defeat mortars with a Kalashnikov. Regional authorities say up to 350,000 people have been displaced since the start of the year. And with TPLF forces occupying Afar's western border, no one knows when they'll be able to return home. Valerie Browning is an aid worker who has lived in Afar for more than three decades. All the schools, clinics, hospitals that were constructed in this space of time are now gone on the western border, a whole lot. So, I mean, in the end of the day, the market's gone, the wealth from the people has gone. We are back to zero. It's in, we are back to enormous food insecurity and hunger. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed speaks of the conflict in the past tense. Meanwhile, the conflict in Afar goes unnoticed.